Welcome back, everyone. You can make a cute craft for Valentine's with some things you may already have at home. Joining us now is Sage Roberts with Charmed by Sage for more on how you can become a crafting expert. Is that right, Sage? Yes, I don't really feel like an expert. I just like to do things really cheap. Well, you kind of do. You're an expert <laughs> at this. And I want to talk about this kind of faux cement art. Okay, so you can use styrofoam, you can use cardboard, but I found these already cute. They're already Star pre -made. Uh, for a dollar twenty-five. So why not use these? And Dollar Tree does sell this as well as your spackling, but most of you probably already have spackling in your home if you've done any home repairs. I added paint to that to get the stone look. Oh, so you can actually use paint and mix it mix right it. into mm -hmm. that. So cement. the clip that they that were playing spackle. earlier, I just mixed my paint in and stirred it up, and then it's almost like frosting this little styrofoam heart. And so are you painting it on? How are you applying? I applied it with this little popsicle craft stick and I just smoothed it on. You're going to kind of see in this clip. What oh, we're I, seeing this video right yeah, now of you this pouring video. the Pour the it paint. in and then you stir it up really good. And then it's almost like you're frosting it like you would a cupcake. Okay. But what I did learn is when you're doing this, you want to get it as smooth as possible because then it's less sanding. That's right. Because you want to sand it to get the smooth look. And then this one I did a little bit different. I left bigger divots in it to look like a stone, like a rock. You did that on purpose. I did that on purpose. And so what makes this so unique? Well, this is kind of a popular trend right now, like the industrial look in your homes. But they're lots of money. They're like $35 to $50 to buy a heart this size. So we did this for maybe $1.50. You're kidding, $1.50, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and to take down, tear down, it's so much easier because oh. they're lightweight. Yep, lightweight. They store really easy, and then they're really cheap and affordable, so you can have a girls' night, or you can make them as gifts for friends. And Sage, what I love about your artwork is it's upcycling. It's looking at what you already have. Mm -hmm. Tell me some of the other art crafts that you've done. Well, I love to do frames. Um, I buy the frames at store at, at, on the clearance section, like this one had a baby saying in it. I painted the inside black and I actually created my own screen and just used um, acrylic paints and just used my screen. I'll have to demonstrate that one time too, but then I just made this, it looks super professional and this would probably sell for like $30, $35 in a craft store. It really does look professional. But it's like a $2.50 sign. So these are just wood pieces that I had. Did um, you repaint these? Mm-hmm, repainted okay. those. Another bead tag garden set where I just put mm -hmm. a little Valentine, I made that Valentine tag and put on it. Um, so I just, these were industrial pieces that I found and I love to put seasonal things inside here. So really anything, my challenge is that I always just like to go in and look at what I have because I just collect things. Like I find things on the side of the road and my <laughs> husband is even getting really good at buying, finding things on the side and of the road and bringing them home to me. Right? Yeah. All right, you are found on Facebook, Charmed by Sage. You can yes. find out more information. We'll put all of that on our website. Thank Does you. that sound good? Sounds great. All right, and hopefully people can call you up if you want a sign made or a craft made mm -hmm. too. Yep, all and right. I do classes.